Hello everyone. In this problem, we are going to build a class that tracks the frequency of numbers. More specifically, it is going to expose three functions as part of its public interface. Add one, delete one, and has frequency. Add one takes in an integer, number, and returns nothing. It increments the frequency of number by one. Delete one also takes in an integer and returns nothing and it decrements the frequency of the number by one. Has frequency takes in a number frequency and returns true if there is at least one number with a frequency equal to the parameter and false otherwise. Let's look at an example. Say that we start with add one one, add one one, and add one two. Then we print has frequency three two one. These should return false, true, true. There are no numbers with a frequency of three so that returns false. One has a frequency of two, so that is true. And two has a frequency of one, so that is also true. Now if we call delete one one and delete one two, then has frequency two returns false because there is no longer a number with a frequency of two. Then when we call has frequency one, that returns true because although two has a frequency of zero, one has a frequency of one. Some constraints of the problem is that the value passed to the has frequency function will always be a positive integer. Another constraint is that delete may be called on a number whose frequency has not been incremented or is zero. In this case, the number's frequency stays at zero. It does not fall into the negatives. Here's what the skeleton of what the class would look like in Python. Okay, now that you hopefully understand the problem, let's take a look at the solution. The first solution is going to utilize a map from integer to integer to keep track of the frequencies. I'm going to initialize this as an instance variable called number to frequency. In Python, you can use default dictionary, which will make the value default to zero if there is no key present in the map. For adding, we increment the map for the number by one and for deleting, we check if the frequency is greater than zero and decrement if it is. We need to check this because we don't want to put numbers into negative frequency. And for the has frequency function, we iterate through the frequency maps values. And if there is a value that is equal to the frequency parameter, then we return true because this means there exists some number with the frequency. Otherwise, we return false. That's it for the code. Let's analyze the time and space complexity. If we let n be the amount of numbers added to the frequency tracker, then add and delete are both constant time operations because they are just standard hash map lookups. For has frequency, this is an O of n operation because it costs n times to iterate through the frequency map. For space complexity, we can analyze it at a class level it uses O of n space for the number to frequency map because worst case that can grow to the numbers added where each number added is unique. Let's try and improve the time complexity of the has frequency function, which was O of n. As mentioned earlier, the part that was costing us extra time was iterating through the values to find if there was a matching frequency. The reason we had to iterate through it was because we didn't have a constant time way to look up if for a certain frequency, there existed a number with that frequency. We can solve this by introducing a second map, which does exactly that. It will hold an integer key, which is the frequency. The value will be a set of integers, which are at that frequency. We again make it a default dictionary, which defaults to the empty set if we try and access a value that is not there. We have to make some slight modifications to the add one function to maintain the frequency to number map. For convenience, we save the current frequency of the number as the local variable frequency. Next, we have to move the number in the frequency to number map from the current frequency key to the frequency plus one key. We can do this by removing it from the set if it exists. The only time it will not exist is if the frequency is zero. After we remove it, we access the map's frequency plus one and add the number back. We also have to increment the number to frequency map by one, same as we did in the previous solution. Now for the delete one function, 
Once again, we save the current frequency for convenience. If the frequency is zero, then we don't have to do anything because the frequency can't drop below zero. But if the frequency is greater than zero, then we have to update the maps. We do this by removing the number from the set at this frequency in the map. We then add it back to the frequency minus one set. And then, same as last solution, we update the number to frequency map by decrementing it. So all these changes allow us to improve our has frequency to a constant time. We now just need to check if the frequency to number sets size is equal to zero. If it is, it means that there is no number with this frequency, so we return false. If it isn't, then there is at least one number with the frequency, so we return true. Okay, that's it for the code. Let's analyze the time and space complexity. Again, letting n be the amount of numbers added, add one and delete one remain at constant time. This is because all these functions do is hash map and hash set operations, which are all constant time complexity. And now for hash frequency, it improves the O of one, because once again, all it does is access the value of a hash map and compute the size of a hash set which are both constant time operations. For space, it remains the same at O of n. The extra dictionary just makes it 2n, but it doesn't increase the complexity asymptotically. Okay, that is it for this problem. We went over two solutions, a brute force solution, where one function had a linear time complexity, which we then improved in the second solution to constant time. As always, thank you for watching and good luck on all your interviews.